Geckos are very well known for their ability to stick to just about any surface, including glass and walls. Not every species of gecko can do this, of course, but for those who can, like Lichianus geckos, how do they do it? Well, today I'll be teaching you how geckos use the van der Waal force to stick to der walls. <laughs> Some people believe that a gecko's toe pads are covered in suction cups, and that is not true. These aren't cephalopods, they're reptiles. They are built much differently than octopi and squid. Instead of suction cups, a gecko's toe pads are covered in thousands of microscopic hairs called seta. Each seta branches off into thousands of even smaller hair-like structures called spatulae, but not that kind of spatula. Each of these spatulae are flattened at the ends, and the shape of the spatulae, along with the sheer number of spatulae that each toe pad has gives the gecko more of a surface area to grip with than if its toe pads were just covered in regular scales. Now here's the mind-boggling part. The electrons on the spatulae interact with the electrons on the wall molecules and they create an electromagnetic attraction to one another and that's what gives the gecko its ability to kind of stick to the walls. It's that electromagnetic attraction that is the van der Waals force. The gecko is unbelievably able to turn off and on that attraction so that it can unstick its foot from the wall and restick it and so it can, you know, walk. However, if there's something in the way, something in between the gecko's toe pad or its hairs and the wall itself, say like water or another liquid, that prohibits the gecko's ability to use the force to create that electromagnetic attraction to the wall, and that's why geckos slip on wet surfaces. The Lichianus gecko took it one step further, and not only do they have those hair-like structures on their toe pads, but they also have those same hairs at the end of their tail. This allows their tail to act as like another hand in a way. Not only can they use their tail to kind of wrap around branches, but the end of their tail can actually help them stick to the surface as well. Scientists are very closely studying this amazing ability of the gecko to possibly create products to allow us to do similar things. Like maybe someday we'll have handles with pads on them that will allow us to like climb walls like Spider-Man. I don't know, it's a possibility because I mean if geckos can do it, maybe we can too someday. So there you have it, that's how geckos are amazingly able to stick to just about any surface, unless it's wet of course. And yes, we do have a Lichianus gecko. I haven't used her in any videos yet until right now actually, but we've had her for full, quite a while, just really haven't had a need for her in a video. But um, there you go, here's our lychee. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you next time.